Welcome to our video exploring the utilization of taxpayer money in the construction of monumental statues across India. These statues not only represent cultural and historical significance but also pose questions about financial priorities and resource allocation in a nation striving to feed its population of over 81 crore individuals with 5 kg of free grains every month. The Statue of Unity, towering at an impressive height, stands as a tribute to Sardar Vallabhai Patel. This monumental project required an investment of 3,000 crore rupees, sparking discussions about its economic impact versus its symbolic importance. Next, we have the Statue of Equality, dedicated to showcasing harmony and balance. With a significant budget of rupees 1,000 crores, it raises questions about how such funds could alternatively support critical social programs, such as food distribution for malnutriented children. The Statue of Oneness, costing 2,141 crores, serves as another grand display of artistic and self-ambition. As we admire its grandeur, it's essential to consider how these funds might support infrastructure or educational initiatives benefiting millions and millions. Next up we have the Shivaji Memorial Statue, created at a cost of 3,600 crore rupees, honors one of the greatest warriors in history. While it stands as a symbol of pride, the financial resources involved could equally aid in addressing pressing national issues like hunger and poverty. Further, the Lord Ram Statue, with an expenditure of rupees 2,500 crores, underscores religious and cultural reverence. However, the allocation of such vast sums prompts reflection on alternative ways to utilize taxpayer money for more immediate and pressing societal needs. The Lord Hanuman statue comes with a budget of 1200 crores. Its construction invites debate on balancing cultural investments with urgent necessities such as healthcare, education, and food security for the nation's most vulnerable. The Statue of Peace, also marked by an rupees 1200 crore investment, aims to inspire unity and tranquility. As we celebrate its message, it's crucial to weigh the tangible benefits against the potential alternative uses of such considerable financial resources. When we tally the costs of these monumental projects, the cumulative total of close to 15,000 crore rupees which is a substantial investment of taxpayer money. This sum provokes contemplation on the balance between cultural endeavors and their immediate impact on public welfare. In a country where feeding 81.3 crore people with essential grain distribution is a priority, the debate over fiscal responsibility versus cultural expression becomes more pronounced. It's a complex dialogue about values, priorities, and the best path forward for national development. These grand statues, while significant in cultural terms, raise essential questions about the opportunity costs involved. Could these funds have been redirected towards enhancing food security, healthcare, or educational programs that offer direct benefits to citizens at large? As citizens, it's vital to engage in discussions about how public funds are allocated. These conversations can drive policies that better align with the pressing needs of the population, ensuring that investments yield the most substantial impact for collective well-being. The ongoing debate about these projects reflects broader global discussions on government spending. It's a chance to reassess priorities, ensuring that cultural investments do not overshadow pressing economic and social challenges. Statues, symbols of history and pride, must coexist with practical investments that address urgent societal demands. Striking this balance could lead to more holistic developmental strategies that benefit every citizen. Ultimately, the conversation about taxpayer money and its use is about envisioning a future that respects the past while addressing present needs. It's about crafting a society where heritage and progress walk hand in hand. We invite you to share your thoughts on this topic. How should taxpayer money be balanced between cultural projects and addressing immediate needs? 
Join the discussion in the comments below and help shape the future of public spending priorities. If you liked the video kindly press the like button and do not forget to subscribe for more such informative videos.